Do you know how many people have apprenticed that, that have actually become tattooers? I know you've apprenticed like hundreds of people, but I don't know how many have actually, what? No. I... To, to tattoo? I've, I've brought people from other shops and taught them how to tattoo better, but bringing someone in the industry, how many people do you think I brought into the industry? Oh, I have no idea. One. One? Sammy. Okay. Every... You're not kind of Maddie? No. Okay. Well, Maddie. She was all over the place. Well, she, she tried to apprentice with me and it didn't work out. Okay. And uh, I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I didn't apprentice her. Like she, she wanted to apprentice here, but she wanted to apprentice with Sam. And it didn't make sense to me because, you know, why would Sam be apprenticing her at my shop? Anyway, at the time, it didn't make sense to me. And uh, Maddie was like afraid of me at the time. So it didn't work out. So she like left and took Sam with her and then. Somehow she got apprenticed somewhere else. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, then she came back. But yeah, other than you, I, I've, yeah, actually bringing people in the industry, like you're like the second person. Like I, I've had a few people where I tried and it didn't work out. Hmm. But yeah, I cool. think, yeah, you, other than Sam, you're, you're the person that's gone the far, the furthest. Cool. So that's good to know. And I'm pretty sure you're going to become a real tattooer. I think you're probably going to do it good what do you think i think so too <laughs> but i'm glad you think that i'm glad you have faith in me i mean honestly at this stage in your apprenticeship um you've already kind of passed the threshold where you could probably quit and go somewhere else and probably lie your way into being a tattooer and be just fine i'm not encouraging that i i don't <laughs> want to do that i'm just saying yeah you, you've gone that far so yeah, I think you've passed that threshold where I've brought you into the industry. So now, mm. if you do something horrible, it's my fault. <laughs> I don't think I would blame you for anything horrible that I did. Not yet. <laughs> that face. It is kind of funny, though, how many people get an apprenticeship and then later, like, hate the person that taught them to tattoo. I hope that will never be the case, but it does happen. I can never imagine that. Well, that sounded yeah. sarcastic, but I did not mean it sarcastic. Yeah, I mean, I really hope that's never the case either. You know, yeah. that would be a bummer. And it, How does that happen? Oh, man. Well, there was one gentleman that had worked in another tattoo shop for, I think, four or five years. And he kind of came in doing, uh, you know, kind of like apprentice type work. And they told him that if he did that for a certain amount of time, that they would let him tattoo or they would take him as an apprentice. And after a bunch of years, they told him uh, that he wasn't a, he wasn't tattoo or material. So he did have a portfolio, and the drawings were good for like like kind of folk tattooing drawing. And I, I liked what he was doing. So and he he, do, he did know about tattooing. He'd been watching tattooers for years. So I, I brought him kind of in the industry, but he he'd already worked at another shop forever, and I kind of taught him how to tattoo, but he didn't really care about anything I said. He pretty much ignored 90% of what I said. So I didn't really apprentice him, although he worked at my shop. And I mean, he had some other things and it, it worked for me for years and it just didn't work out. Like he didn't really, he didn't thrive in my shop. And mm -hmm. I, I always look for people that will thrive. Yeah. And if it's not working for you, then, you know, then I, I kind of start to demote you in a way. And that's what happened with him. And he ended up leaving upset because he wasn't busy. Other tattooers were busy and I was going to hire another person. He was offended because he already wasn't tattooing. So he quit mm. and he hates me. Oh man. So it does happen. And like, yeah, he just hates me. And it's because, uh, you know, he didn't get what he wanted out of working for me. Yeah. It was just a miscommunication to you. Well, it was a probably a little bit both. Well, he wasn't making money and he thought it was me, but he didn't want to stay long enough to work. Like mm -hmm. every day at eight o'clock he was gone. It didn't matter if someone just walked in or not, he just left. So he was like, oh. Well, I'm not making money. It's like, well, sometimes in tattooing, you gotta sit around yeah. a bit. Yeah.